Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, do hit the subscribe button down below for lots and lots of recipes and also take your time uh, looking through what we've already uh, gone through and made. So today we're making a three chocolate brownie. Um, I suspect it'll be very yummy. <laughs> Um, so for the three chocolate brownie recipe, you will need 185 grams of unsalted butter cut into cubes and the same amount for the dark chocolate, 185 grams of dark chocolate. And I've put them all in one bowl because we're going to melt them together. And then um, also uh, for the chocolate, um, you will also need 50 grams of milk chocolate this time, so it's lighter than the dark chocolate and uh, 50 grams of white chocolate, the same amount. And then this little bit here is for garnish. So I've got 25 grams of, of each color, but at the end of it, we'll see, um, I might want it gooier, so I might add more. I've also laid out for you uh, the type of chocolate that I'm using today. Um, it's just the Nestle, um, the chocolate bits. Uh, but you can get slabs of chocolate um, in the different colors, um, that's fine. Um, so we'll move on to the sugar. We uh, will need 275 grams of caster sugar and uh, three eggs. I use free range eggs. Um, if you do um, go out and buy eggs, especially for this, um, free range eggs are always the best. You will also need 40 grams of cocoa powder and 85 grams of flour. Now the recipe normally calls for plain flour but today I'm using self-raising flour because I want a bit of lift and I want a big brownie. And what I've done here is I've put it into a separate bowl ready to go. Um, the recipe calls for us sifting the flour and the cocoa together, 40 grams of cocoa and 85 grams of flour. So the first things when baking, um, good practice um, is to turn your oven on. I've got the oven set to 180 degrees and we're going to bake the brownies, brownie batter for 30 minutes. And I also want to have my tray baking tin ready to go. I'm using a glass, just a, a casserole dish and I want to line the tin. So I also want to uh, make sure that my baking paper fits nicely into um, my, my dish. I'll just do that and then I'll cut there. Then you measure. I'm going to leave these uh, sides flapping so that when I want to remove my brownie mixture, it's sort of like a handle, I can just lift it up. Okay, so I am now fully prepared to start uh, my batter. Here we go, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, your next step is to uh, pop your dark chocolate, 185 of dark, uh, grams of dark chocolate, and the same amount with the unsalted butter, into the microwave for one minute. Remove it, whisk it together, stir, and then pop it in the microwave for another minute. Stir, 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 and then let it cool. So I'll do that now. Okay, so this is what it looks like after one minute. You'll see that your chocolate is starting to melt, uh, but it's not quite there. 
So what I'm going to do is just uh, try and help uh, both ingredients to um, mix together. You want to be uh, very gentle with your whisking at first so it doesn't splash everywhere. I think that's as good as it's going to get for now so I'm going to pop this back into the microwave for another minute and then repeat the same step. Okay, this has been in the microwave for uh, a second minute and what, oh, it's much easier now to um, it's, uh, not clumping it up at the bottom. So I'm just gonna just imagine that strong chocolatey smell, it's divine. Okay, and then what we're going to do is while we're getting the other uh, ingredients ready, we're going to set this aside to cool. Then your next step is to uh, whisk your uh, whisk three eggs into the sugar. And um, I've just done this and this is what it looks like. And it took about two minutes of whisking um, and you'll see that it's nice and thick. So, that's it, we've got our uh, chocolate and butter cooling down and we've got our eggs and our uh, sugar mixed and if you haven't already, uh, the next step would be for you uh, to sift your flour and your cocoa like that <laughs> okay and then the next step is to take your um, chocolate and butter mixture and fold it into into your batter And try to have um, use a utensil that's going to allow you to remove all of it. I'm using a plastic tool because it's bendable. And then you're going to fold until this is all mixed together and it's one color. For those who are novices at baking, this is folding. <laughs> so you just dig in and like that. Okay, this is all now one color. And our next step is to add your flour and cocoa using a sifter and you've sifted this once before but you're going to do it again and then fold again Alright, that's all one colour to me and now we're going to add your chocolate bits and you're going to fold that in until it's all evenly distributed. I don't know, this feels a bit mean to me. Like, you know, there's so few chocolate bits. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to add more. A handful of each. What's the 
the worst thing that could happen? Too much chocolate? Said nobody ever. Okay, and this is now ready to pour into your um, previously prepared um, tin that you're going to bake in. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and flat, as flat as can be. And pour this in. Okay, now I'm just making sure that this is evenly spread. I'll give it a good shake. And now, we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll add more, maybe I won't. We'll see if I think they're being stingy. <laughs> Try to get an even spread so everybody gets uh, some chocolate bits in their slice. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this into the oven. Uh, the oven again is set at 180 degrees and it's going to go in for half an hour. If you find uh, that you remove your brownie uh, mixture or your brownies after half an hour and it still um, doesn't look quite cooked, um, you can pop it back into the oven for five minutes. But uh, half an hour's worth to me, I don't think you will. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So yeah, here you get to see with me how exactly how this turned out. Um, I think I am absolutely happy with that. Also, if you haven't made brownies before, they do need to stay just like this um, until they are fully cooled down. They, uh, during the cooling process, they take time to settle down, if you like. If you remove it now, it's just going to crumble. So, uh, don't do that. <laughs> Wait until it cools down. I'm going to let this cool right down and then... Um, we can all cut together. Okay, it's been an hour that uh, the three chocolate brownies have been cooling down and the kitchen smells divine. So I wanted to um, show you uh, how I would take it out now and we will have a look at what it looks like together. 
All I'm going to do is just and just cut. Make sure your knife goes right through. Side and yummy. It's still a little bit warm, so if you can cool it overnight, that's why it's crumbling a little bit. Look, it's this is what I meant when I said let it cool down. It's still a little bit warm, so that's why it's doing that. Um, if um, you want to let it go overnight, let it go overnight. But that is looking insane. Um, I am going to show you how uh, to make my very own recipe using these brownies. It's called a grasshopper trifle, which is a chocolate trifle in my next video. So do make sure you come back and have a look at how I make that with these yummy brownies. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel and like my video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!